Mockups like this are a great way for artists to show how their digital work will look in physical spaces. Now, whether you're making a simple mockup or a more complex photo composite, you're going to be working with multiple image layers in one document. In this tutorial, you'll learn the most efficient way to work with multiple image layers. You can bring in your first image just by opening it up in Photoshop. But what about additional images? If you try adding each of these the same way, they're all going to open up in separate tabs and you'll still have to combine them. Ideally, we want to add all of our new images directly into the project we're already working on. Fortunately, there is a simple command for this called Place Embedded. This is one of the most straightforward ways to add images into your project and is especially helpful for collages and composites. You'll find the Place Embedded command up in your file menu, and when you select it, you'll be able to choose any image from your computer or cloud documents to add into your project. When you look at the layer panel, you'll see that this new image has been added as its own layer. And if you look closely at this layer, you'll see it looks a little bit differently from the other layers in the panel. This is because Place Embedded creates a special type of layer known as a smart object layer. So what makes smart object layers so special? When you're creating composites and collages, you're going to want to resize and transform images in various ways until you find the most perfect composition. Now, when you scale down a regular image layer, you can't scale it back up without losing image quality. With smart objects, you can scale down and up as many times as you want without losing any image resolution, which is perfect for an indecisive artist like myself. So let's move the new image into its frame and scale it down a little bit, knowing we can always scale it back up later without any issues. Once you find the right sizing, hit enter to commit to these adjustments and place the image. Next, we'll go into the layers panel and move our image layer below our gallery layer. Now, since our gallery layer has the frame entirely cut out of it, it becomes like a window looking into the image layer below it. Now, no matter how we resize our image, we'll only be able to see the area contained by the frame, which is perfect. From here, you can keep working on your mock-up, or you can add in more images, depending on your project. So let's recap. To open up an image into your project, you can use the Place Embedded command. This opens up your image on a special type of layer known as a smart object. And smart objects allow you to increase and decrease the size of your image without reducing image quality. So now it's your turn to step up and get creative and make some composites. Have fun.